what's up guys welcome to the freaking video um one if i don't by some chance get a video out at 12 o'clock at any point this month just know that my wi-fi has been bunk and i'm looking for an alternative to this maybe buying a hot spot or something like that but the wi-fi has been acting like trash so been up super late the last couple nights which is the reason I'm up late today and uh, Callie's actually at the shop already she didn't wait she didn't even call me like hey I'm gonna go to the shop nah she just called me eventually and she's like hey when are you coming here I'm like what she's like well I'm already here I didn't want to wait okay well I'm on the way right now and uh, yeah I'll see you guys there no bug, no yeah, no. What are you doing? Ricky, you got you got like all like makeup up to work to be a car girl? My lady? Um one of the hose clamps is like stuck. Oh, okay. So I can't take the hose off and I'm really trying to work. I mean, I got the bolts off, but I can't get the bottom one off really without taking the hose off. I mean, I'm going to have to take it off eventually, obviously, but I... Oh, so it is the right thing? Yeah. No, it's like yeah. complete. It's perfect. It's like literally the same exact thing. Look. It goes like this. So what did you get done? I got these two off. That's it. <laughs> you told me to stop. Wait, what? Oh, these two of that. Yeah. So um, I just need the one bottom one to take off, and I just need help getting this off. So this one, right, you need to, oh, no, you, no. Take, you need to take you, this no, off? You just need to take this off, yeah. Oh, okay. It let, See, like, it makes sense. Like, that goes to this, and then the bigger hose goes to this. Like, that's what this is for. Yeah. But you're like, what's this for? <laughs> it has the same little, you see the bump there? It has a little bump there, too. Oh, wow, that's yeah. crazy. It has, like, did you get the right one? Like, I got the right one. Oh, yeah. High five for doing things. I wanted to do more, but you're like, don't do it. Yeah, I was like, don't do it. First of all, I didn't want you to even come here with without me here. You should have answered your phone the first four times I called. You could. You didn't call me four times. You called me once. Oh, shall I go back? <laughs> yes. Oh, shall I? Why is there like a jack handle on your lap? Yeah, leverage. All right, I got the hose off. She's gonna do the rest. Is there a seal on this? No, so no. you're gonna have to RTV this. Yeah, I know. All right, well, let me check uh, check a couple things with this. See if it even starts. I don't know. I didn't really charge the battery, but I never really checked it for blow by, so I need to start this. So she started right up. Obviously, gonna still be misfiring. But uh, take the oil cap off and see how bad the blow by is. That looks like less than normal. All the ones, all the videos I saw on YouTube were like shooting like it would move the cap. Let's see if it moves the cap. No, the only thing moving the cap is vibration. So I think I have decent compression. That's very, very, very minimal. I'm gonna leave that alone for a little bit. Put this on uh, just regular charge. And uh, Maybe start filling up the bed. Where goes this? Brush. You got it in there? I don't know. Do you get at least one of the bolts in? I think I have Or you got two of them threaded in a little bit? I think I got the bottom one, but I can't tell how Oh. So we're using a gasket. We're using the gasket that was already on it, but we RTV'd the front and back of it, and she's just going to tighten it down a little bit by hand. Wait like five, ten minutes, and then tighten the rest of it down. And uh, should have a working thermostat in there. All right, so we got some of my wheels and tires put in here. We got the fridge in here. I'm trying to decide exactly what else to take in one trip. Um, those are all cams, bumpers. I'll take the cooler that can go in the truck. Small stuff can go in the back seat of the actual truck. That's, a, that's not a problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So basically, we're gonna bleed her coolant. And the dually is, you know, running but not good. So basically I have to limp the dually to the new shop. I'm gonna follow her because this is a little bit less sketchy. Her car has no plate and is blue and is loud. So hopefully no fucking cops get behind her. We have to 
hide some wires. They're hanging. This is so fucking annoying. Just right there is good. Right there is good. Well, our first ride with the Z is to the new shop. Because we gotta get the fuck out of this shop. Because I don't want crackheads fucking our shit up. She's super fucking nervous. So am I. Go, you're good. I just realized I don't think we tightened the uh, lug nuts or checked if they were tight, so we're going straight to Jimmy's. So far, so good. Lug nuts are tight. Dually hasn't broken. Z hasn't broken. Uh, nervous. It sounds good. I have taken the lead because Callie is too nervous and can't follow the directions. Like, I get it. It's the first time driving the car. It's unregistered. I was trying to follow hers to make it not sketchy for her, but I just called her and told her if there's any cops behind you, look far behind you in your rear, the rear view and just pull to somewhere. But uh, now she's behind me because I have to lead the way to the new shop because she's never been there. And we're, we're going the, the back roads and she doesn't know these roads and I have to get her there safely. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Shit, that was nerve wracking. But uh, we've officially made it to the shop with no cops behind us, and Travis should be here somewhere. <laughs> She's so fucking nervous. <laughs> Look, I can see her face. <laughs> You're gonna have to give us a ride back. Why? Oh, I can still hear it. It's way less, it's way more faint though. The temps were good the whole time. Your oil temp looks fine. That's so much better. Yeah, it's like barely, barely audible. It'll, I think it'll go away. Wasn't that the, the most terrible fucking first no, ride ever? No, honestly, I had a lot of fun towards the end. Towards the end when you weren't so nervous? Come on, give it a good one, come on. Come on, right here. Just... <laughs> okay, I well. I started finally enjoying it. I'm like, oh, we're in the industrial area. Yeah. Like all this downshift thing, that downshift has and all over. The How's it drive? It's way better. Than Cut it off. Sure. Today we gotta break in the clutch anyway. You're bumming it. No, I'm not letting you do it. We gotta break in the clutch anyway. You're hit. So? We gotta break in the clutch. You gotta drive it, no, yeah, who cares? Yeah, you, I, you're gonna care. Who cares? You're gonna care. The same for the dually, either that or the batteries are just hit. I gotta leave my charger on it. Just in, to the, to the left. Oh yeah, I remember that fucking noise. <laughs> right. Having a dually dead center of the shop makes the shop not look that big. Like we have, in an amplitude of room, just not with that there, but we're allowed to park that. We have like five spots over here somewhere, or we can park it in the driveway right here. It doesn't matter. We'll probably, I'll probably just back it up like where Travis's car is, or I'll park it sideways right here. Be registered would have been scary enough because like I've never driven it. Stop. <laughs> like driving it unregistered with you freaking out and like. Ugh. It was a very pleasant first never, drive. I mean, once we like calmed it down a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, get, great. get in the back of the vehicle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go, get it, get, get, scat, on, scat. <laughs> stop, wait, stop. You always slam it back. Wait. Watch that you're sitting on the thing. Why is it there? Just in case. Yes. I'm sick of all this damn smoking. Done. It's done, no more, done. Nah, dude, all right, so this tent 
This tent provided you guys with content throughout the whole cold months. The whole winter. The whole cold, the whole freaking tell them. The whole what? The, the cold? Winter. The whole, the whole cold, cold, the coldest, coldest the coldest months. The this, in this bad boy. Yeah, like, you guys don't understand how shot, I would never have been here if it wasn't for this tent. Look at that. No, like literally, it was unbearable. It was unbearable except for in the tent. The tent, the tent saves lives. The tent did its justice. But we're gonna take the tent with us. You know, it'd be cool. Be we can like use this, like, if, drift if, events. yeah, drift events, and like, if someone wants to work on their car outside the shop, yeah. you know what I mean, like in the driveway. Yeah. We could just put it right there, right up against. Put it in the driveway. There's so much room, like outside of the shop. Yeah. No, I got it. I'll, I'll put it in the dumpster. So, yeah, it's a little warm out. Yeah. But uh, we're kind of trying to take out all the. Um, all the everything pretty much like we're still gonna we're still gonna need some tools and stuff here so like i'm gonna leave my tools here jack jack stands all that stuff because i'm trying to get my car going so i can drive it onto the trailer no the boxes are good because like anything that we need we're gonna put in the boxes and then in the cars all right we're getting a good amount of stuff out of here uh got a chuck donovan's bumper don why is your bumper here bud oh shit dude Thanks, Don, for leaving your bumper here because I just found my uh, coolant friggin' reservoir. So that's good. I can use that for now. So we're going to keep this. Callie has two, two AC condensers. You know, she's probably just going to sell those because they go for a good amount. Um, she has a spare alternator and a spare power steering pump and, like, two spare starters. This is good, good stuff. Oh, and a bunch of spare injectors. We'll keep that. We'll definitely keep that. Okay. We're actually using Don's uh, old his stock bumper as a canoe to sweep all this shit up into. Travis got the tent down. The couch is uh, half folded right there. We're putting all the stuff that we need in between my car and Travis's car. Tomorrow, Travis's car should be going there. My car, I'm trying to get running and under its own power so it's a little easier to get on the trailer. So, cleaned off most of this stuff. Uh, probably gonna be taking this table It's kind of just a pain in the ass, but I mean it is a good sturdy table. So Take that take this take this I'm just gonna clean everything off real good. There we got this pile This is the last of this pile Onto the canoe of Don's bumper. Come on, be hood be hood for me girl. No. Come on girl. Let me get some hood action No Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we got got that giant pile cleaned up. We got this giant pile cleaned up. I think that's about it for tonight anyway. Tomorrow, Travis's car is getting moved to the new shop. My car is getting worked on. And then we got to get the rest of whatever we're moving. So all this stuff, this stuff. The couch. Uh, this whole corner is all Travis's stuff. Besides this chair. This chair is Chris's chair. So all of Travis's stuff at once. Probably going to go with the couch and all that stuff and that table. Hopefully we can do one load with all that. Then all that will really be left that we have to take care of is uh, my car and everything behind it. And we're going to take that table and whatever is Cam's stuff. I'll just put by the rest of Cam's stuff. For him to come get whenever he comes and gets it and uh that's about it so moved into the new shop kind of probably like a third way moved into the new shop dually's down there callie's car's down there a bunch of stuff's in the dually uh, a bunch of stuff's in callie's car right now our cars are all loaded up with stuff so tomorrow we have to take a ride down there and dispose of the rest and uh yeah it's weird seeing the shop like this Yeah, it's weird seeing the shop like this because honestly, I think we're uh, gonna leave this place cleaner than uh, we got it. Because when we first got it, you guys remember there was like a bunch of machines everywhere, barrels of shit. Like it, it was, it was disgusting in here. Like we had to do so much cleaning to make it like habitable for a shop. And now the new shop is just like empty. Like the walls aren't even up yet. Like we literally need to get thick the walls, 
are going to be up in a week or two. I don't know. And uh, all I honestly need before we actually move in is the lights. So Chris has to figure out the light switch issue, figure out where he's going to put it and whatever. And uh, I need outlets because I need to be able to film in there, which means I need electricity and I need lights. So that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Sorry if these videos are like a little bit boring, but it's like just us moving out. Like, gotta do what we gotta do, and I gotta post what I gotta post. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.